My name is Chris Richardson and I'm a fourth year graduate student at Michigan State University in astrophysics and astronomy. Uh, I got my undergraduate degrees in physics and applied physics from Eastern Illinois University in 2008 and I've been here ever since. So I'm also a FAST fellow for my second year, so that's future academic scholars and teaching. Well, I've always just been interested in astrophysics. Um, my undergraduate degree was in physics, but I had a professor who is very interested in astrophysics and a lot of times had applications to astrophysics in his classes, and so that's just something that um, really inspired me to pursue that discipline. So I chose MSU because it has a strong astronomy program, and I also liked that it was well linked to the physics program because I had, like I said, my degree in astro, uh, my undergrad degree in physics. Um, and uh, yeah, I liked all the research, so I researched all the professors before I came here, and I, I liked the camaraderie that um, the grad students had as well. It's kind of like a little community; they seemed really close knit. So that was something that was important. Well, I think it's definitely influenced how I see education. Um, I definitely think of um, education um, in a different way as far as uh, teaching as research. Um, that's one thing that they constantly um, talk to us about. It's something that a lot of professors and graduate students are unfamiliar with, that how, um, how related teaching is to research. I mean, you both you have ideas you have a hypothesis going into the class, much as you do with your research. You collect data on that and you come to conclusions and see if your assessment was something that could support your hypothesis. And so there's a lot of um, ideas like that that many people just aren't aware of and the FAST Fellowship helps bring those to light. So my major professor is Jack Baldwin. Um, I do plasma simulations of the Crab Nebula. In particular, we're studying molecular hydrogen and. Um, the formation and the physical conditions which enable that molecular hydrogen to emit. And we also do plasma simulations of the narrow line region and quasars. Um, when I look at what I'm doing now, I always think about what's going to happen in the future. So I think that you should, you should close some open questions with your research, but you should also open new doors for future research. And um, that may not just be myself doing it, but it might also be my um, future undergraduates or my future graduate students in carrying out this research. And um, so I think that's something to, um, to look for, not just the faculty at other Arlen's, Arlen institutions adding on to my research. I don't have any specific career plans right now. Um, Originally, I wanted to work at a small liberal arts university and uh, settled down there, but right now I'm just kind of keeping my uh, options open to doing a postdoc or going into education or um, just pursuing the, the typical route that you would for a small liberal arts university.